The SkyKid.com Coming of Age Cinema Movie Review Today, I will review a 2011 coming-of-age drama from France titled The Devil in the Skin. The Devil in the Skin is a 2011 French coming-of-age drama telling the story of the strong bond between Xavier, Quentin Grosset, and his little brother Jacques, Paul Francois, and their struggle to remain together despite all odds. Directed by Jules Martinery, the film's narrative and visuals are so cunningly crafted that watching it can be closely associated with an appreciation of a work of art. When it comes to visual storytelling, all filmmakers aim. The Devil in the Skin is an exemplary movie. Starting with its cinematography, with the framing, compositing, lighting, camera movements, no aspect of the cinematographic art is overlooked. A wider camera angle is used to capture the story settings, utilizing deep depth of field to capture the French countryside's beauty to great effect and turning many of the film's scenes into expressionist art, a pure visual delight. The attention to small details is immaculate as well. Drops of water on someone's feet or the washing of one's hands. These are seemingly insignificant yet create a holistic picture, like the fitting together of puzzle pieces. Somehow they, along with the actor's behavior and actions, make the characters very familiar to the viewer and easy to identify with. For example, in a scene of doing nothing, Xavier peeks at the sun through his fingers, insignificant on its own yet so wholesomely boyish. Combined with the tightly framed close-ups of the characters and selective focus, all of this achieves a sense of intimacy, so essential for any good coming-of-age narrative. The story itself is not that unique. The 2013 British drama The Selfish Giant comes to mind. Yet, how it is told and the ingenious photography makes one intrigued and moved despite the lack of any real suspense surprising plot twists. The film's narrative can be perceived as a dramatic character study. It is an insightful portrayal of a troubled childhood in which the young protagonist is not idealized but portrayed true to life. Thanks to the wonderful acting of Quentin Grossa as Xavier, and the skills of the film's director Jules Martinery, that portrayal is more than intriguing to witness. When I watch a film, in addition to identification with the characters and their fate in a coming-of-age narrative, I am looking forward to being moved, excited, saddened, etc. Any emotional involvement is to be treasured. Jules Martinery chooses an objective approach, achieving identification. Although such identification is often subjective, I achieved it, but with little emotional impact. The lack of emotional involvement can often ruin my enjoyment of a film, especially one with a disturbing, tragic overtone. Yet surprisingly, this did not bother me as much in The Devil in the Skin. I loved the film, every minute of it, and did not hesitate to recommend it highly. Thank you so much for watching our review. You can find it in writing at theskykid.com. Please support our channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. TheSkyKid.com, young talent in music and the arts.